So a few times already in this playlist, I've mentioned the word isomorphic. And it's come up a few times, um, but I haven't fully explained really what it is. So this video should hopefully um, clear that up. Okay, so essentially, we say that two graphs are isomorphic if you can bend, twist, stretch them out um, and form a different looking graph, but you're not allowed to break the graph apart. Okay, so for example, I could stretch out this point all the way over here. Okay. This graph is still representing the same information. Nothing has changed. Okay, so I can rotate it, uh, twist it, um, uh, or distort it, but I can't add any edges. I can't remove any edges, and I can't cut it up either. Okay, so I could draw an isomorphic graph to this one. So let's say I've got... Um, how many edges have I got? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So theoretically, I should be able to draw it uh, just with these points here. So let's look at that. Okay, so this one is connected to that one, and then that one's connected to that one. Okay. So then this one I need to have connected to um, two more. So that one can connect to this one and also to that one. So there are my two edges there. Those two that I've just gone to are connected. Okay. Now, then one of those can then, so that one there that I started off with, for example, uh, needs to be connected to the other two, like so. And so this, although looking very, very different, is a graph that is isomorphic to this one. Now, I can draw that, again, in a completely different way. So I could have that inside triangle still. So let's have that triangle. But I could have those two points in here. I could do that. And it's like effectively I'm kind of like folding them in. Um, and then I could have these two points maybe over here. Okay, so this is isomorphic to that one and to that one. So essentially, you can draw these graphs in loads of different ways uh, by either stretching them, as I said, twisting, rotating, reflecting. All of that's fine, as long as I don't add any edges or break any edges. Um, that would be fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, So that is what it means for graphs to be isomorphic to one another. And because we've just done uh, incidence matrices as well, the incidence matrix for all three of these would be the same because it should show exactly the same connections.